today I'm using a charcoal basket to cook a brisket and it's also almost 100 degrees Hey yo, this is Dash and I'm out at the garage. Wait a minute, I don't see any smoke coming from Bessie. That only means one thing. Yes, we got the new smoker going and you see that right there? I went out and I got a piece of plate. Problem is, this piece of plate is it's quarter inch and um, that's all I had at my metal supply store so the point of me getting this plate was to try and help divert some of the heat and smoke into the smoker this way so I actually need to get this lifted up just a little bit and I might also need to cut it down right now it is uh, two by two I think I need a lot a foot of it off so I can get some heat towards the back of the smoker and also uh, direct some of the heat uh, down towards the middle of the smoker but this is a oh yeah remember that whole almost 100 degrees this is more of a uh, proof of it's more than a proof of concept because I proved the concept with this piece of uh, thin sheet metal up there so I have this piece of plate and I'm hoping to, to figure it out so I'm going to actually get the plate because of the way that it is down in here I'm gonna get the plate lifted up just a little bit so I have a channel that runs underneath of it. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna get a piece of uh, a square tube to, to, to put under this side of it to help bring it up. And like I said, hopefully help bring some of the heat out and over. Okay, so I have the plate and ideally I need to, like I said a couple minutes ago, I need to make this a little smaller because uh, right now it's it's almost the exact depth of the smoker. There's nothing coming out of the back there. There's a little bit of heat and smoke escaping over here. So I think what I might do is uh, slide it over, just maybe a quarter of an inch. But you can see the majority of the heat and smoke are actually coming out in the middle and I don't have a problem with that. Um, I'm hoping the heat and smoke come down and under and come this way uh, at this point one of the concerns I have is about grease dropping down in here and getting down into the to where the heat are coming from over here I don't want any sort of uh, fires but you see we have the smoker going the charcoal is getting lit I'm leaving it open because I really want to get it get it going and then I'm going to choke it off and see just how the heat and uh, smoke come out of this thing. So we're gonna go from there. All right, so oh, this is what I have to run from. <clears throat> and uh, it'll probably be 45 minutes before the smoke dissipates. And you can see just how thick and nasty that smoke is. 
there ain't no joke that's why I don't stay in here so I have the intake wide open and I'll show you guys and in here we see the charcoal is good and lit at this point we're just have you know charcoal lit down towards the bottom we don't even have any of the wood lit yet but it's getting lit actually I'm starting to smell some of that wood burning But let's take a, a sneak peek. Gosh. Just elevating that plate. <coughs> Actually, ugh, nasty. Whew. I'll come back in a, in a couple minutes. It's just way too thick and nasty in there <coughs> goodness all right all right you wouldn't believe me if I told you but it's been 15 15 minutes so uh, trying to see here temperatures are starting to come up uh, this side we're at just over 100 and this side we're actually just under 100 obviously that's because that plate is over here on this side but for what it's worth, that's, uh, that's pretty normal. And smoke in the garage is pretty much cleared out. And just like I said, it's been all of 15 minutes. So I actually have a brisket I'm gonna be, oh, step back into the light. I have a brisket I'm gonna be cooking tonight. And So I have a brisket I'm going to be cooking tonight. Had a last minute order for brisket. I don't have to work tomorrow. Uh, so I can actually sit out here and watch and observe how the smoker does. I emptied a whole bag of charcoal in there. Normally in uh, Vicky, I wouldn't put a whole bag of charcoal. And also I don't even have it at an angle. So uh, this is more another uh, proof of concept. I want to get the smoker up to temperature and then I will throttle back the charcoal uh, to throttle back the inlet and we'll see what happens I'm itching to put in the bag of the uh, the Western charcoal over there but not yet we have I'm gonna be honest with you guys I started <laughs> the smoker up the other day uh, and I put a bag of charcoal through it just to kind of see what was going on so I'm gonna add probably just a little bit more water down in there and we are waiting for this to come up to temperature. Having it opened up, obviously, isn't helping. So we're gonna get that closed back off. And, <clears throat> and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, okay, okay. So it is almost nine o'clock on Tuesday, July 3rd. And I have my thermometer up in here and a thermometer See where it's sitting at the 232? The 232 is on this side of the smoker. I actually would like it to get closer to 250. I just throttled the smoker back. So I'm gonna open this up. I hear some water boiling down in there, but I might go ahead and open up the intake just a little bit more. All right. And we'll see if my temperature comes to where it needs to be but I have to get the live stream started. So let's do that. All right, I gotta turn the fan off cause there's wind noise. So you guys in the chat, you guys wanna say hi to yourselves again? All right, let's see here. Whoops, covering the camera. Holy cow. Thank you very much. Uh, what's on the menu for tomorrow? <laughs> All right, so I got a last minute order for a brisket. I told you guys in the video already, but I got a last minute order for a brisket and I'm cooking said brisket or we'll be cooking said brisket right about now. So, <laughs> there you go. Craig says, hi to me. Tom Clinton says, hi. <laughs> Goodness. All right. It's warm in here, that's for that one, sure. Just 
camera set up a little better. All right. All right, so I seasoned my brisket before I brought it out here. And this is uh, about, whew, it's about 15 pounds right there. And we'll let it go. And we'll keep an eye on the temperatures out here. Let me crack all on my arm. All right. Whew. It is warm inside of the smoker. That's for Dagon Shore. All right, so you guys that are on live stream know exactly where I am in this particular part, but I have my number one taste tester. Go ahead and open up the smoker door right there. No, 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 the, the firebox door. Yeah, yeah, open up the firebox door. See him in his mismatched shoes? Here's his mismatched shoes on. Open up the firebox door. You, you can touch it, it's not hot. All right, go ahead and close it back up. You need to respect the heat. Go ahead, come and close it. There you go, all right. Open, when you open the firebox. Jeez, that is hot. That is hot. It's charcoal, so it's... Now just imagine opening up the firebox door once an hour. Yeah. So that's why I haven't let him use the smoker yet. Uh, yep, exactly. Brody says, that's what's up, Dash. Learn by doing. He's, he's not amused. All right, let's see if I can get the comment to come back up. Uh, come on, there it is. All right, Jesse, thank you very much. <laughs> Brody says, that's what's up, learn by doing. Help you get some sleep. Yes, uh, uh, Eric, this video will be up before next Wednesday. Nothing like getting pulled pork delivered uh, at the airport. So my buddy boosted Plinko, and whoa, we're zoomed in a lot. <laughs> whoa, wrong way. All right, time to go back to the live stream. Okay, if you were on a live stream, you know I just added some, what the, uh, added half a bag of the Western lump and seems to be coming up to temperature it's definitely getting lit that's why we have that smoke there it won't take long it won't take long for it to come up fully come up to temperature and uh, once it does it'll be time well once it does uh, the smoke will dissipate. So uh, after the live stream, I went in the house. I went to sleep. I fell asleep rather hard. The good thing about this thing being charcoal, or a good thing that I have it running on charcoal, is my my cook isn't ruined. Um, check that out. It's coming along. The other things is where I have it in the smoker. See, is uh, it, it didn't go crazy, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken out of the smoker. I'm gonna take it in the house just only because it's it's uh, crazy hot out here, and the smoker has pretty much run out, almost run out of steam. There's still charcoal and there's still a good fire down in there. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, in the house. I don't have to come on back out into the garage. I'm just going to get it wrapped up and finish it. In the All house. right, so it's been a couple of hours uh, since the brisket finished. And yeah, I'm getting ready to slice up the brisket and, head out the, and get it out the door. So I let the brisket cool completely. I'm going to slice it up and then go ahead and take it out for delivery. But what I wanted to show you guys was inside of this brisket, this brisket cooked in the new smoker 
with charcoal and you guys I think I remember telling you guys that I actually fell asleep and it was out in the smoke room longer than I would have liked it to have been but it didn't really affect much of anything I was able to still wrap it up the only difference is I don't have nearly as much as you as I would uh, like to have so I'm not gonna be able to provide some for the customer unfortunately because uh, it just there wasn't much that, that that resulted in or from this brisket again because I fell asleep Oh, all right. So here is the finished brisket sliced up, and it uh, this definitely was this brisket. I feel like it was a little overcooked, and I'm I'm not sure exactly why. Um, but when I was slicing up the flat, it was uh, it crumbled a little bit, which led me to believe that there was a little bit more heat that got onto the bottom of this than I would have liked to. And actually, that's probably because of the fact that the heat was coming under that little diverter plate that I had and it was being focused a little bit more so that's definitely something to think about and uh, reevaluate but we have the point over here and we have the flat over here but you know it's one of those things hindsight being 2020 I'm thinking about I, I gotta figure out I, I still have not figured out that 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 uh, new smoker yet <sighs> back to the drawing board once again but look um I will take you guys along for hopefully the next cook or two with that uh, new insulated smoker. We're still, I'm still figuring, we're still figuring each other out. You know, this is only, you know, the third, third cook in that smoker. Um, first with the charcoal basket. So I'm, I'm definitely still trying to figure out what's going on with it. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. <clears throat> If you are if you are not subscribed, please do. If you are subscribed and have not turned on the notification button, the notification bell, please do that. And uh, as always, thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.